Because it was like a then I was like the single mom trying to date and it was like a dang I can't be that person with that mindset and then I even had the mindset of not um, dating somebody with kids or more than more kids than I had because I'm like well dang then we if they got three kids and I got one we already got four we move in together and then we gonna want a kid together so now we got five kids I don't want five kids <laughs> but my mindset Ooh, that overthinking man I know <laughs> Ooh, <she laughs> but um. I know. Why did he have to have three kids? <laughs> I know, but in my head, like, that's what I was thinking. But now my mindset is I'm open because, I mean, I've been a part of a blended family, and I love it. So, I mean, I would, I'm definitely open to people with kids. <laughs> what? Oh, they slurping on them teeth down there. I'm okay. I was not slurping. I don't know what that is. Okay. The eye would be open to dating somebody with kids, I feel like there would be some factors in that. Like, how old are the kids? Because did you just have a baby? You know what I'm saying? Oh, like, yeah. Oh. Factor. Oh. 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 How old are your kids? That too much. That you <laughs> and the, your, the, your child's mother was just mm -hmm. acting mm -hmm. not too long and ago. Then, but then again, there's situations where if somebody can have a baby and it can just be a baby it can be like you know there's you know what i'm saying yeah, like, where is that one night stand if you wouldn't be surprised it's a lot of one night stand babies it's a lot of mm -hmm. in your experience how often has that been like i'm not saying it don't happen does it happen what do you mean how often has that been? like needed somebody who was had no relationship with every mom i met a few people that's what i'm saying it's an actual thing it's a, like think about it like even our own like our own our own fathers like they you can have a baby with somebody and then you know what I'm saying? We're not our own fathers. I'm not saying, but I mean, but like, other people I've been around, they can just have kids with somebody, just like people oh, can yeah. marry somebody. Yeah, yeah, mm -hmm. like that. I thought you were talking about like, um, like one night things just in general. But you're talking about like they can have a relationship and just now be co-parenting. Yeah, Mia, I'm saying that it's possible for them to. I'm saying that it's possible for them to have conceived the baby, like a one night stand, or not even a one night stand, been knowing each other and they slept with each other that one time, or you know what I'm saying, like been that, single, you know what I'm saying, not saying they cheated, but been single and just, you know what I'm saying, and then somebody, the condom broke, you didn't know, and somebody ended up getting pregnant, and you can just, you know what I'm saying, like. Or somebody can say, think that they having a baby, the baby coming and not be there. You genuinely just never know. So I feel like it comes down to communication if you're going to talk to somebody. But um, now if you, that's why you got to ask them, okay, now the mama, what's going on? Mm -hmm. Like, do she think y'all together? She don't know that you've been moved on? You know, because I met, um, it was this one man who was trying to date one of my friends. And he still lived in the he still lived in the baby mama girlfriend house in the basement. Like they lived in the basement of the girlfriend's house. Yet he was 
you know, still dating other people. You see what I'm saying? So that's weird. That's yeah, weird. you got situations like that, like so. You know, but and I also feel about the baby mama thing. I don't believe that all baby mamas are crazy. Since you know me being a baby mom, I don't, I don't bother. You know what I'm saying? I don't bother my my son's father at all. Like it's been five years. I don't bother at all. I've never asked for money. I never even did the route of child support because I got it and I've been doing fine. All I mainly want is my son to have a relationship with him. But at the end of the day. My goal is to raise my son the best way I can, and that's just gonna suck for the dad to look at his son. Cause when you, whenever you make your decision, I'm in my to try cushion. To come, no, you're like all on my cushion. You I am not, not in your cushion. You know all that You said we've been sitting like this this whole time. I'm saying, it's just about you. Cause you'll be scoot over. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. My, I don't know. We're just scoot over. You just scoot it over. You have the, all this right here. Oh my, I'm like, I'm that serious. You're not that serious. serious. You I'm sorry. In that middle school. school. There's no way that you can be sorry to interrupt over a seat for nobody to move. And they got like, because she's sipping. You're fine. I'm like, that why you looking surprised? Huh? What that could have been a private conversation. Or it could have been like a hey for I you to go, don't sit that close to me. Or I am gonna say, can you suck it up? And she said, Hey, when you was loud and said, you said, I'm sorry, can you scoot over? I didn't say, oh. <laughs> By the way, I'm not putting none of this out so they can see that y'all two Crazy. are just doing the most right now. Crazy. You know, that's <laughs> unnecessary. Now, yeah. Eric be on my lap sometimes. But we get it done, honey. We buy it out. But how ugly I was saying. How do y'all feel about people having children? I feel like I was Oh, but I feel like, way. I feel like, um, how how old the kids are and the relationship before like with y'all little type stuff you know what I'm, I'm just being like you know because some people be holding on to more foods you know what I'm saying mm -hmm. you, you just got to be cautious to that not that that happen every time but also how active you are in kids like I, I can't even know that be and mm -hmm. they couldn't I can't even imagine being with somebody who don't take care of their kids you can't take care of kids you can't take care of me or exactly. Exactly. you don't want to take care like you, you don't want to be a part of that exactly or in, even using it as an excuse like mm -hmm. well no the mom you know yeah. what I'm saying oh. it's a thing oh. I don't care how powerful and how they may be against us half the time mm -hmm. but the government has stuff in place to at least try at mm -hmm. least try I want to see that you made an effort yes because that that's an important issue I'm, you need to, I need to yeah. know that you I made every attempt possible to get exactly. your child because you can have situations where they move away you know what I'm saying? But my thing is that you should be, you. it's no, that's I never understood possible. parents that could be in the same city as the, the, their child and not be active. You know what I'm saying? Like, I just don't understand that. And everybody has a mindset. Some people got the mindset, wait till they 18, 16 or whatever. I'll talk to my son. Buddy, my it's going to be a, it's going to be tad difficult. You know what I'm saying? And you're going to have to, you're going to have to deal with that, buddy, buddy. That's, you know, but hey, to each his own. Mm -hmm. How do y'all feel? Um, anything else y'all want to add about the babies? Would y'all like somebody that like got like eight different baby mamas no. and like eight different mm -hmm. children with this? I see you out here wild. I, I feel like I can't do I'll, that. And, and I think if you had maybe two different baby mamas, would be like, and you had like an actual relationship and maybe something happened, and you're like, oh. but no, you jumping and jumping and your kid is right. like one and year like older, one year old, old, a nine month old, an eight month old. You're like, <laughs> okay. like you just baby boy, you just can't quit. And I'm not about to be your eighth one. <laughs> You got to bring her the condoms, sex ed. Yeah, you got to. You know what's crazy? I was just reading an article last night, and it was this man. They call him the Sperminator. He literally <laughs> like it'd be like um, same sex couples, like women who want to have babies, but he he has a whole wife, son, mm -hmm. and he's out here impregnating people. Like sometimes it's like a traditional, like you know how to have a baby or whatever. But sometimes he'll like do like the turkey baster type of thing. And they talking about in Target parking lots. I said, what? Oh, yeah. yeah. No. I would not be. But that's my point about bringing that up was some people just want to impregnate the world. Like, I feel like sometimes, so you just got to be real careful. Uh, <laughs> you trying to start a whole new maze. Y'all like, I just want to populate the earth. Like, yeah, I'm God's gift to earth. I just feel like I should. Yeah, not with me, baby. <laughs> Trying to make a whole new basketball team, a football team. Yeah, like I definitely, if I'm gonna make a basketball team, a football team, one person. I want to be with my partner, and sure. I'm gonna need us to have a little bit, I'm, I'm gonna need us to have some time. Some and space some, in between. You know what I'm saying? A couple wars that we want under our belt, not mm -hmm. battles, some wars that we want <laughs> under our belt before we even think about hitting number two or three 
and, and they, you know, double digits or even four or five, mm -hmm. it's, we gonna need to talk, but it's gonna have to be a clear, <laughs> it's, it's <laughs> costly. You'd be surprised. I know. So, you know what I'm saying? It take, it take one pregnancy for you to have a double digit kids. With no two pregnancies. Oh, twins, quadruple. Like my grandma was twins. Sexless. So Look at me having twins. You have both faces. I want to have a twin. I want it to be a twin, but mm -mm. you gotta push two kids. <laughs> we all was like, you do it. They don't come out your age. They, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> the other crying. age, and Literally. then two different. Oh, two different people that they might have the same schedule or different. Mm -hmm. Oh no, different personalities. This one might be crying. This one not might be crying. It make the other one cry. Well, I just want to get to too much. Yeah, you, you, have, you, 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 you can do that. I, it don't got no I'm just saying it's a possibility of me having one. Yeah, but you got plans. You talking about this like this might happen tomorrow. I just want I mean, to sure. I'm just kidding. It's going to be twins. Yeah, I ain't got no men. I ain't got no plans. So. <laughs> but, um, yeah, I'm open to dating with kids. I don't, I don't feel like you should judge. I don't feel like people that... Um, are close to somebody with kids to judge either because you know what I'm saying like it's just a blessing. It's not I feel like always it's an thing as well because I feel like if you're in a relationship with somebody with kids, I feel like there might be another like added level of commitment. You know what I'm saying? Because mm -hmm. you you're now in this kid's life too. Yeah. Especially if, like the guy. And then also if you if y'all do decide, you are gonna see how he is. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like how he yeah, that's definitely. I feel like even in relationships, if you do have a kid, it can, it it definitely helps. Weed out the bad people. Hey, I have a kid. Ooh, I don't want no girl with kids. All right, later. You know what I'm saying? Or like a, oh, you know, do you love me enough to love this part of me? Because like I tell anybody that I get in contact with, like me and my son are non-negotiable. You can't get me and, uh, you know what I'm saying? Uh, maybe, no, it's me and him together. And you know, like, I feel like how I would want you to treat your own child, I guess to treat, you know what I'm saying? If he's doing something, you That's know, also it's a conversation. Very, like, yeah, cause how, do you, how can you say like, oh, you want to be with me, but you are not open to being with it's my like, son. Like, like, you see somebody's character. Yeah, and I never want to be with anybody where our kids feel divided mm -hmm. because I, I've got to see firsthand like how it feels to be in a household where like somebody can make you feel divided from your own siblings. You know what I'm saying? Like, cause if I was having another child with who my husband is, I don't want him treat. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Lil, well, let me go take Cameron to a haircut and not Daniel. You see what I'm saying? Or I'm gonna take Cameron to a haircut and Daniel. I didn't really know what to do with you. Versus like a, if we took that step in general that we even have the kids, we married. Right. Then these are our kids. You know what I'm saying? These mm -hmm. aren't my step kids. I don't. I just don't like stuff like that. I just, you know. And that's why it's important. And it goes into like who you make your partner their family as well. Cause mm -hmm. I never want like Cameron to go with the family and go. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Cause I feel like my family. One thing I love about us is that we show that with anybody. If you was a cousin coming to live with us, you're now our sister. If you was an uncle coming to live with us, now you're our big brother who's in the house. And like, if we was all going to another family member's house, everybody was treated the same. It was like, a, oh, all the girls. It was like, a, oh yeah, Ari, Nay, um, you know what I'm saying? It was everybody, you know? And so extended family trips, family trips, that's just how we operated. So. You gotta really pay attention to that, cause I dated somebody before where I didn't get the vibe that if we were to have a child, our our blended families would be blended, mm -hmm. and I had to think longer term. Do I want to be with somebody where where I, would I with that. you know what I'm saying? Cause me and my son not gonna go to y'all family cookout, mm -hmm. but your son gonna go with you. Like, why are we dividing in the household? But if me and my partner are up front and solid with each other, that's not gonna happen. It'd be like, hey, Ma, can you watch? You know, Cameron and Daniel. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? I, can you watch Cameron being okay? You can't. We're calling my mom. She'll <laughs> keep on. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. But and that's only gonna suck for that person because she gonna miss out on her oh. grand, her first grandchild or second grandchild, whatever the first girl boy life. So you know, You're that's how I feel. Your loss. That's how it's, you know. That's how you gotta tell me about it. You do realize this. That's only gonna make things worse for you, right? Because mm -hmm. that means that I'm still gonna have my wedding. <laughs> You're out of luck now. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Your mama gonna be wondering why she wasn't in the back of the other mamas when you know what I'm saying with the bridal party. You know what I'm saying? Cause I may not be able to do nothing with the day to day, but it's them two moments. That's gonna kids be a and lot weddings. of characters. That's gonna mm -hmm. be a lot of character. Cause you'll be like, how he gonna treat like yo like for you in your mm -hmm. situation or like in reverse? Like if I was in dating somebody, how I would treat that person? Mm -hmm. you, you get to see all of that, and it it can really help you make up your decision life. Oh yeah, no. Yeah. You know, I don't know nothing about kids. 
I understand that. I'm not asking you to know you everything. You've never been around it. But, but you know what I'm saying? Excuses. Yeah. People are making up huge excuses. Mm -hmm. with them. I can't take care of. There's people who been broke so many times. And they can't. Ah, <laughs> they don't still know take how to care of my kids. You know? Yeah. So that's not an excuse. None of that is an excuse. Yeah. Just, not knowing what to do. Being an uncle child. Nobody knows what little, to do. I don't know what. I still don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> There's but, books on this stuff and yeah. nobody and knows. You, yes, and you ask Google. questions and you, you try to learn because that's what you, you know what I'm saying? If, if it was me now that I'm in the position, I'd be looking at it like, okay, more practice. All right, that. It's always You know, practice. like, all right, this is what we finna do, you know? Because as long as you're treating me right and how I want somebody to treat my kid, but I do not respect women who treat other people's kids that mm -hmm. because of whatever your reason is that's how ariana lynch will be in jail you know what i'm saying because <laughs> i didn't watch videos on tiktok on, not tiktok on twitter everything of the stepmom or the girlfriend doing this and that and i'm i'm guaranteed that ariana will be in jail if i get a text message that you cut in you can say 12 me. your dreads off i don't care we will be fighting you see what i'm saying so yeah, and I there's so many stories like that. Like, I be reading stuff like that. Yeah, like, even with like daycares. I just, y'all really want to get beat up. Yeah, I really want to get beat up. Yeah, I really want to get beat up. I would have, hey, I need mean, jail money. Exactly. That would be you thought the mama that was coming in smile all the time won't throw these hands. <laughs> yeah. and first off, in one fight, we all fight. Period. Exactly. And especially <laughs> over the babies. Especially. The kids. Over the babies. Oh, y'all. Y'all getting jumped, not jumped. Y'all don't want the smoke. You know what I'm saying? We may be, but that's how you're going to get another level of angry. But I'm definitely team dating people with kids. You know what I'm saying? I, I, feel, feel, like, I, feel, like, I feel like with it comes with you. Period. Mm -hmm. so, <laughs> you have to grow up a little bit. So I feel like with having kids, you might get a man, a, a man that's more mature. Mm -hmm. And then, uh, if I may just so add maybe more that's where all the, where that's, Maybe that's where all the good men is. Yeah, I'm sure. Not, I'm about to say, not all good. <laughs> not all good with you. Yeah, I agree with you guys. I love it. You can definitely tell where a person is based off of, you know, when they have kids, you can just see how they kind of handle the situation. Um, some people, it was, it's like a, they get into like a, it's a, it's a, a spirit that they carry about them that you can be like a, oh yeah, like he got a, his kid's performance about to graduate kindergarten, like we got to go to that, like. You know what I'm saying? Like the, oh, he want to make sure that his son know how to ride a bike. Like, you can just pay attention to these things and you'll be able to really see, like, how somebody is. And also, I was going to say, don't try to rush when you think that you met somebody with the whole kid situation thinking like, oh, he came in, he was looking like... Because some people, just like you probably mean, it's an adjustment period. But if y'all going on some time and you watching and nothing is kind of... All right, you're not even trying to get to know this man. Like, you're not even trying to show me that you, you know what I'm saying? Like, hey, babe, let's take a trip. I was thinking, like, you know, like, or what are you doing for his birthday? Something like that. Then I feel like after some time together, it would just be like, oh, yeah, this mm -hmm. ain't great. Like, you know? No, and, sometimes, you and sometimes I think it's, sometimes it's not always, you know, maturity doesn't always come with the kids. They could, well, no, they could be good with the kids, you know, to take care of the kid. But you know how we was watching oh, that show yeah. Big Little Lies? The one was getting abused and he was a great father. Like, yeah, mm -hmm. that, 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 yeah you still have to pay attention. He was a really good dad. He, he was, was, he was, was. And they, it's, it's a lot of stories like that where you could have it be good dads, but they will be cheating and stuff. <laughs> what? Oh, it'd be a lot of good dads and stuff, but they be cheating and stuff. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Cheating, cheating, beating, and weeping. <laughs> but I feel like everything comes down to communication, having your standards, paying attention to red flags, and being okay to be the change that you want. Like, oh, he's so cute, and I, we was getting so long, but you know what I'm saying? And you brought this person in the world, so you need to protect them. So mm -hmm. I never understood women who have men around their kids and know that their kids are getting mistreated by the man, Ooh. yet keep going, like, or choosing their boyfriends. I'm so happy we was blessed with a mom who never put us in a situation like that. It would be more like a, like, you know I what I'm saying? I have like, never wanted to go off on mom. She did this and stuff. Like, yeah. I like her or whatever, but I have never wanted to go off. That would be the day. Exactly. I feel like the only thing, like, my mom be doing that just be like, really? It be like a... But now that I understand it as an older sibling, as a mom, it just be hiding stuff like food and yeah stuff. <laughs> It'd be like food, food. You know, like we get creative. 
But you made you a second potato. <laughs> <laughs> but then I realized, like, oh, I do the same thing. Dan, here you go. Right. Oh, and then, the it makes sense because I'm little kids. Like, <laughs> I'm like, like yeah, well, I, <laughs> Yeah. So, yeah, I feel like it just, it just depends. Like, you just got to be okay with judgment. You know, pray. Write down what you want so you can visibly see it. Like, does this person have this, this, that, and the other? And um, just pay attention. Um, you... This is my last thing. I'm so sorry. You have said something about like them telling you in the beginning. Mm -hmm. When um when I met uh when I had met like you know when I had met my my relationships or whatever like in my relationships when I met people I literally like I would tell them but not right away. I would always ask like so how do you feel about kids? Do you have any kids? <laughs> And I feel like my mindset with that was you get raw reactions. Mm -hmm. Cause like somebody asking you first, like, oh, do you have kids? Like, like a, you know, mm -hmm. they'll, they thinking like, oh, she must not have kids. And so they able to answer and they're like, yeah, I don't really date nobody with kids. And you know, oh, yeah. that's the day I walk away. Yeah. 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 You're like, yeah. All right. Especially you're real fine, but. You real cute, but I have a beautiful son. But um, the guy <laughs> that I was dating, I had like, not, well, I, we wasn't dating, I had liked him. And when I had asked him this question, he said like, you know, oh no, I don't mess with girls with kids. I just kept quiet, boom, boom, boom. Later on in the day, um, us in the group, he ended up finding out that I had a son. And so it was like, a, oh, you got a kid? And I'm like, yeah. And so I started acting real distance because I knew, like, oh, he cute and stuff. But like I said, my son is non negotiable. Mm -hmm. So I'm like, hey, he was cute. I thought we could have had. And boom. But he ended up, like, pulling me aside later on, like, a, hey, I feel like you've been acting weird ever since the thing. Let me elaborate on why I don't want to date somebody with mm -hmm. kids. I dated somebody before, mm -hmm. and, you know, the child did something. I said something, and. Any other time it's not a problem, but when the child was something that was like obviously bad that I thought was bad and I said something, then the that's not your kid. And so he was like, Ooh, that's I tried, I mean, you know what I'm saying? So he we didn't even mention that. that. That's also a thing. Like, but I feel like if I'm in a relationship with somebody and I allow them to be around my son and that's or my, my mm -hmm. kid in that in, in that instance, like the way that I'm having you around them, I feel like yeah. They should have some type of, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, your like, kid is bad. If I'm trusting you enough to be around my son I feel, or my kid or in general, I feel like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, as long as you're me. not in there beating my kid over here. Yeah. Sit down! That's, but that's, yeah. like, that's a conversation. Yes, and that's why you got to talk to your, because, you know, people like, you know, spare the child, spare the right, spare the child, whatever it is. Mm -hmm. But I had to have a conversation that's like a, there's other ways of punishment. So let's talk about, so like if you see him doing something, don't wait until mommy comes home, stand in the corner. I'd rather him come tell me like, I had to stand in the corner and da da da, you know, but mm -hmm. you know, it's all about how you handle situations. And I would never go, oh, go yell at you in front of the child because mm -hmm. then now we gonna have some issues later on because it's like a, well, she did it. Mm -hmm. She had my back mm -hmm. versus like a, um, then go to your room. You want to punch me for a day? We'll talk about it later. And then, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? Because you don't want nobody to come in, oh, treat my child like it's yours. And then when they do, that ain't your kid. That, that's why you have to have a conversation about the way that you're raising your kid. Because mm -hmm. if they grew up in a house over whoopings was the norm, and like that's the only way that they punish their, like, their people, uh -huh. or whatever. But you're like, yeah, I'm, I don't want to whoop my kids. Or, you know what I'm saying? I don't want to our kid. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. That's what y'all at. But, the, you know what I'm saying? That's but, why you have to have a conversation. Yeah, about the you understand that you want. Mm -hmm. Right? Yeah. I, all that comes so into play. to an agreement. You know? that, but that's, that's one way to my heart, though. My baby. Oh. You good? Yeah, that's <laughs> my bad. Sorry. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> 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 that's one way to my heart is my baby, like, but, uh, like, a genuine, y'all ever just genuine, like, a, you ever met somebody that, like, just love your kids? Mm -hmm. You know, y'all have kids, but y'all ever met kids, but love me. your siblings or something mm -hmm. like that? Like, uh, when somebody come in, you like, okay, like, dang, like, they finna just take Juliet everywhere they want Juliet mm -hmm. to go? Okay, it's like a, I'm one of those, like, I, I attach, like, I don't attach to other people's families. Like when I like friend when I have my friends and stuff, like I go over to their house or I hang out with their family and I'll be liking their families like, What's that wrong? What you doing? Exactly. Like, trash. You know? I feel yeah. like yeah. that's why I feel like you gotta, you gotta <laughs> that's why you gotta really know like who you are and stuff because mm -hmm. I'm the same way. I like when I meet you, I'm thinking like Okay, I'm a girlfriend. Oh, I want me and your mom to be best friends. Like, cause mm -hmm. me and my mom is like best friends in our mm -hmm. own little way. So I'm like, I want me and your mom to be best friends. I want all of you know what I'm saying? I want me and your sister to be able to be like, 
You know what I'm mm -hmm. saying? I wanna be able to I wanna be best friends with you. That's that's the type of stuff. Yeah, yeah, those are things that I, I be looking for, but that goes into the other videos we made that comes down to protecting your partner when it comes down to telling your parents certain stuff mm -hmm. or allowing them access to certain areas in your life that may cause problems later on. Cause now your wife or your girlfriend will never have a relationship with these side of the people your family. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Because that video. You know what I'm saying? Because you allowed that. Check that video mm -hmm. out because you know what I'm saying? We be getting deep <laughs> in here. Okay? But um yeah that's how I feel. Um just be cautious when you dating somebody. Um First if you're yeah and if you're dating somebody with kids from the outside dating somebody else with kids you you need to be accepting and you mm -hmm. need to stop overthinking that you like it's some people that want you to buy diapers right away and it's some people that's just like a no just love like mm -hmm. love does not you know what i'm saying it's love action you, money. you know what i'm saying yeah just hear their story up. exactly like just love me unconditionally so like understand that i can't go on a date that friday because Dan has to go, you know what I'm saying? He got a doctor appointment in the morning. Like, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Understand that it's going to be some stuff that I'm going to miss out on. Or I can't just do or just leave and dip for three months in Puerto mm -hmm. Rico without my child. Those are things that you should definitely think about when you're dating somebody. Just be accepting and loving of them because you never know somebody's story. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. exactly. Just treat people how you want to be treated or how you would want your kids to be treated because you don't know the future. And I would never want how I treat people to be how people would treat my son. You know, you are thinking a bigger picture out here, y'all. We are raising generations and we within ourselves are in charge of like how we kind of handle situations and we just gotta we are stick together and go the right path. So hopefully, because mm -hmm. we are the future. And Jesus is generation. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Jesus. Y'all just be talking mm -hmm. sometimes. <laughs> what? We are the future. Look at our generation. She ain't got to repeat the same thing. <laughs> she repeated me. I, I can't, said that first. I said we are the future, but I said look at our generation. Now, I said that differently. Okay. 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 They, they took your speech <laughs> and said we are the future. That's <laughs> okay, I can make my own speech. I probably wanted to. Power to the people. All right, we love y'all. Y'all already know we are the Sibbins Sisters. Sisters. No. Sibbins Sisters. That's why I don't be saying that.